Hello YouTube fans, this is Duskar Clown. I got a package. What is it? Well, let's see. Hold on for a minute. Okay. Boom. Got all of them. Got them. I got it. Look at this cover though. This cover is badass. Really, really badass. I love this cover. You got the bride right here with her fucking katana. And then half of the stuff with, um, what is it, the, uh, handkerchief has Kill Bill on it. I thought this was part of the wedding dress. It probably is, but I'm going to take it to handkerchief real quick, just to be safe, <laughs> you know? But, uh, who knows, maybe she is. Hold on, because there is something in one of these. Uh, let's see, that shows, this is cool though, showing all of this. Uh, let's see, hold on for a minute, um, I thought you were able to see it here, but you can't really see it, that's also an awesome cover, they should use, they would be cool, that would have been cool if they used that cover for, for this box set, that would have been awesome too, not to say this cover does not look good, it, it, it is, it, it's, it's freaking good, and everything like that, let me put this right here, because, just trying to put something back here. And there we go. We got Kill Bill Volumes 1 and 2 on this beautiful, beautiful box. You know, um, the Blu-ray version has this um box and it looks more shiny and all that. It looks pretty dope. Um, so if I ever see it, I'll probably grab it. But um hey, I got this instead, which is dope, you know. Um who doesn't love the backstory of this chick right here? Obviously, you know, very hype, very awesome. I mean, all, all these characters right here are all memorable and all good in their own way. Especially her daughter. Hmm. What, what was that say that the bride was talking about? You know, what, what was it say? What, what she told her? I'll be waiting? Pretty much. Where, where, where's the secret to that? I want to see that movie. I really do. But, uh. We'll see if it happens. We'll see. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. It's been teased for, for such a long time. And it's like, are you going to do it? No. Are you going to do it? No. Are you going to do it? Yeah. But in the pandemic. Uh, yeah. And it's like, uh. <laughs> So, um, hope you guys enjoy this cover. Um, I want to get the Kill Bill box set because I, I just love these movies. These, you want to see what the covers look like in the front, just for the fuck of it. There it is, you know. Pretty dope, like it, like she's wearing all yellow here, then right here all black, you know. Then it has the red, um, the red background and the um yellow stripe here, then here with the black, and then um black stripe and yellow. Pretty dope, you know. Pretty dope, pretty dope. Uh, I like that very, very much. And this movie is very, 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 very fucking bloody. <laughs> um, hopefully. Um, in the DVD version, they didn't censor the part where, um, the bride is cutting off a whole bunch of fucking people and they put it black and white. Um, I know in the Japanese version, they didn't put it black and white, but in the American version, they put it black and white. So I'm hoping maybe in the DVD version, they didn't put it in black and white. But if they did, that's disappointing. I can understand maybe on TV or something like that. But on the DVD or when you're watching it on the theater, come on, people, come on. Well, oh, it was going to get an X rating. Okay, if it's going to get an X rating in the theater, then put it in the DVD. You know? Oh, what? The DVD is going to get an X rating? I doubt it. Just put on top, a, like, um, director, director's cut or something like that. You know? I, I don't know. Uh, that, that's just me. That, that, that's just me as a person that loves to see um, different versions of a movie. From uh, cause I like to see it from the the the, the writer or the perspect on uh, the the writer or the director's perspective, basically of um who's really making the movie, you know. So instead of the studio's perspective of making the fucking movie, cause why you hire the person to make the movie that should be good enough for you motherfuckers. If not, then make make the movie yourself and don't hire no fucking directors and writers and shit. If you guys are going to fucking like do what you did to Amazing Spider-Man 2. I mean, this is not the same company, obviously. But, um, I just wanted to point that out there, you know. But again, this is a really cool cover, really badass. You know, if, if this was, if this was in the store, and this was planted like this, I would definitely would have bought it. Hell yeah, I would have been like, what the, what is this fucking woman 
holding a katana for and why just wants to kill Bill. <laughs> and it does say right here the fourth um 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 Granatino film. I'm pronouncing his name, man. I'm sorry. But this is his fourth um fourth film. And um supposedly if he does another kill bill, does it count as a fourth film? Or does this or does that count? I mean, does it count as his last film or does it count as the sequel to his fourth film? Uh, questions, questions. Because you guys could be like, oh, these are sequels, but they're really volumes of like, it's just breaking down of part one and part two, basically. This is supposed to be the full package anyways. You know, that's why they put it together, obviously, you know, kind of like almost with the Star Wars trilogy, but different, you know, instead of like a progressing thing, it's more like, hey, it's right after the other, kind of like um what they did with um the VHS box set of um Titanic. So if you haven't seen that, you should. I don't know why. I think at this point everyone has seen it, but um, I don't know. I just like this cover, really good. Um, if you haven't watched Kill Bill, you should. You really fucking should. It's really spiritual and enlightened, and, and all at the same time, it's, it is a revenge story. But um, there's some stuff, especially in Volume Two. Um, it l literally goes to spirituality and enlightenment stuff. R really dope. I even told my friend, hey, man, just go to Japan. Literally, they're going to teach you a lot of shit there. <laughs> you know, this movie literally tells you, go to Japan. <laughs> you know, so really cool. I love that they pay homage to the old um, sense, um, old um, Samurai Sword movies because I grew up with some of them. And, you know, some of the Bruce Lee movies, I grew up with some of them. My grandfather has some of them. And this is just a love letter for me, at least, you know. And then the animation for the Japanese style and shit is just fucking amazing, you know? So, still awesome. And 